After the communists have found some issue or point of difference upon which they can divide the people, get them fighting among themselves rather than their common enemy, the next step is to create the appearance of popular support for the communists' war of national liberation. They have been devastatingly successful thus far. Yet in one country after another, there have been alert, informed individuals who saw the signs, recognized the patterns of conquest, and raised their voices to warn the people. Against just such a contingency, the communists developed the third phase of their blueprint for world domination. Neutralize the opposition. We can and must write in a language which sows among the masses hate, revulsion, and scorn toward those who disagree with us. A Communist Party directive issued in 1943 reads, Members and front organizations must continually embarrass, discredit, and degrade our critics. When obstructionists become too irritating, label them as fascist or Nazi or anti-Semitic. Constantly associate those who oppose us with those names which already have a bad smell. The association will, after enough repetition, become fact in the public mind. 